Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Paulo Dromeida, psychologist, and I'm here to help you to cope and to be fit very free from symptoms of anxiety. You and people around the world that suffer from this kind of disorder. Well, stress and cancer. I will tell you about the article from Harvard Medical School. Can stress cause cancer? Currently, there isn't any evidence to suggest that stress can do so by itself. Of course, anxiety and stress, um, primarily, they don't uh, cause um, severe disease like cancer, because cancer is uh, correspond to um, multi factors causes. So we have to take um, um, take care about this kind of co correlation. But whether long term stress may play a role by tempering with immune defense is a question that bears closer scrutiny. One theory about cancer developers suggests that cancerous change in cells occur frequently for a variety of reasons, but the immune system recognizes cells as aberrant and destroys them. Only when the immune system becomes ineffective are the cancer cells able to multiply. Chronic stress can hamper the immune system, and this might affect the body's ability to head off the uncontrolled proliferation of cancerous cells. So, it's important to understand that um, if you have the preconditions to develop cancer, of course, stress, anxiety, um, accelerate this kind of problem in your body. What is clear, however, is that stress management can have a role in cancer recovery. A 2005 study of women undergoing breast cancer treatment concluded that a high stress level preceding the cancer diagnosis resulted in a lower physical and emotional quality of life immediately after treatment and even a year later. In another study, women with stage 1 or 2 breast cancer underwent a 10-week program of stress management and relaxation training. Similarly, diagnosed women in a control group were not offered the training. At the end of the study period, research measured the level of stress hormone, cortisol, in each group. Women in the group that received the training had lower cortisol levels. Um, I think it's important to do some um, precautions because the level of cortisol in the, in the blood uh, is not the um, specific result to diagnose with anxiety and stress. But in this study, they use this kind of measures like um, indicators, uh, index. Uh, but of course, we need the clinical uh, consultation for to understand the, the problem, the correlation between stress and cancer. A small pilot study yelled similarly promising results for men being treated for prostate, pro, prostate cancer. Uh, the study examined the men's interest in and the effectiveness of two complementary treatments, relaxation response therapy and hate therapy, which were offered in addition to primary radiation treatment. Of course, we have a lot of techniques to treat cancer, but the, the main, the first most important treatment for anxiety and stress is psychotherapy, because psychotherapy, you could treat the cause, the roots of anxiety, like uh, emotion conflict, um, uh, the trauma, the problems with your uh, emotion problem with your personal life, your professional life, your family life too. So psychotherapy treat this kind of things is more um, more easy way, a more profound, deep way for you. Uh, researchers found that the men they studied were interested in trying the complementary treatments and that the treatments had 
positive outcomes. Patients who were anxious before the radiation treatment were less anxious after receiving one of the complementary treatments, regardless of whether they had a relaxation response therapy or the HAIT therapy. Those who received the relaxation response therapy also show improvement in their sense of emotion and well-being. It's important to understand the relaxation response is that a lot, uh, a lot of process um, a wild process to we with you could do like a yoga, tai chi chuan, or ichikon, or meditation. Mindfulness is best, the best, and of course, psychotherapy is active. The relaxation relaxation response, the relaxation response could treat your um, anxiety and stress, put your body in your more balancing way, in more um, calm down, relax during our lifetime. It's it's important for us not to disappear, disappear, or catastrophize, catastrophize the catastrophize the um, the feelings about the anxiety. We should stay calm down and doing psychotherapy. If you want to do psychotherapy with me. Please um, keep in touch with me by my Instagram at dr Paulo Antonio Almeida, like uh, here, and or if you want to send an email to me here contato arroba paulantonalmeida.com.br. If you could do this psychotherapy with me, and we, I understand your history, the roots of your anxiety, and I could apply techniques from cognitive therapy, uh, behavior therapy to you, and mindfulness and positive psychology that the methods I've been working since long period of time since I graduated in, in psychology school. Um, if you want to do more information about this kind of treatment, please uh, feel free to contact me. And if you would like this kind of video or content, please um, subscribe my channel if you want, if you uh, don't subscribe yet, if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you for patience. And I think you can do a lot of things here in my channel. Uh, I will give you some methods and training and meditation in English too. Uh, I'm starting produce uh, videos in English and but uh, day by day I I'll put some exercise and meditation in English uh, for help you to treat me anxiety for free set free from anxiety it's possible please stay in contact and hope inside your heart to be free from anxiety hugs for you ciao ciao